What's up guys, Chef Lego Alex here and today is a really special day because this video is my 20th CMF I've ever done and I just want to say thank you guys and I can't thank you guys enough. Now that I got that out of the way, let's continue to the video. To celebrate my 20th video, what if Lego made a CMF based on fast food mascots with 20 minifigures? Let's find out who makes it in. Starting off with the list is Ronald McDonald, having Harry Potter's hair in red as well as having a brand new piece. The Happy Meal. I really love the way this minifigure turned out. And I must mention the 1999 Lego McDonald's set we all know and love, as well as the very first Happy Meal Lego toy, which was first seen in 1983. And the latest being the Lego Movie 2 toys from 2019. So, yeah, there's nothing new. Have it your way with the Burger King. The King has a brand new crown slash hair piece, as well as a buildable whopper, and I love the way he turned out. And I just can't stop smiling seeing, well... His smile. Sorry, I'm biased over Burger King, that's why. Up next is Wendy. Having a brand new rubber hair piece, a Disney skirt, and mid legs as well as a buildable burger. Notice the way that the meat patty is not round, it's more square shaped, but that's because Wendy's never cuts their corners. Jack from Jack in the Box is next, and I love the commercials, they're hilarious. I really didn't do much except the brand new head hat piece, and no accessory needed. Going back to McDonald's, we have the Grimace. Grimace has a brand new headpiece and he's all purple with mid legs. And he also has a brand new piece, french fries, a piece we really need. Another recognizable McDonald's character is Birdie. Using a brand new headpiece, having the chicken wings reused in yellow, and also having double printing on the short legs. Ending off the McDonald's gang, we got the Hamburglar, Rubble Rubble. Having a brand new hair hat piece, he has a cape on the outside, it's black, and the inside it's yellow, a buildable hamburger as well as a bag of hamburgers. Mmm, stealing again, Hamburglar. Pizza Pizza, it's Little Caesar, using Alfred's hair in green to represent an olive wreath, a 2x2 two two flat round pizza, and a spear, as well as printing on the short legs. From KFC, we got Colonel Sanders, using Duke of Boom's hair in white. He also has a bucket piece, all printed with the KFC logo, a piece of chicken, and as optional, I threw in the cane because the real Colonel Sanders carries the cane with him. From Domino's Pizza, we got the Noid, using a brand new piece to cover his head, and all his head is is just a nose and a mouth. He also has a pizza to freeze, so avoid the Noid. The Cow from Chick-fil-A has a brand new cow head piece, based on Hell Cow from Lego Marvel Studios 2, as well as a 2x3 sign that says, Eat more chicken! Okay, I'm cheating here, but from Taco Bell, we got the Chihuahua mascot that says, Yo quiero Taco Bell, or simply, I want Taco Bell. The worker, on the other hand, does have a brand new taco piece as well as a red freeze. But seriously, who would pay $5 for a chihuahua? From Jollibee's, a Filipino fast food restaurant, we got the Jollibee. Having a brand new head hat piece as well as Tinkerbell's wings in a transparent white and also having a fried chicken piece in a nougat color. And that's supposed to represent the chicken joy and honestly the chicken joy is the best. Yes, it counts as fast food. The sign from Starbucks has a modified Spider Woman hair piece in green with a hole on top and a new crown piece as well. She also has printing on her mermaid tail and two cups of coffee with the Starbucks logo. From A&W, we got the Root Bear. Having a brand new headpiece and a mug in a transparent brown color. I know that color does not exist, but I know definitely LEGO would do something like that. From Carl's Jr. slash Hardy's is Happy Star. All it is is just a brand new star piece on top of a torso and short legs and yellow hands and that's basically it, really. What a guy from Whataburger has this awesome cape printing as well as having this non-lego eyes and the more I stared at it, the more I realized I started to like it a lot more. The delicious one from Wiener Snitchel has a brand new hot dog head piece that goes on top of the torso as well as having a brand new bun piece where you just slide the hot dog in and there's chili on top. Unrelated to the mascot, there's a lego wiener dog he comes with and it's the same wiener dog from series 19, just in a black and orange color that most wiener dogs look like. From Panda Express, we got the Panda Tom Tom. Having the brand new panda headpiece, which is actually different from the Lego Movie bear headpiece, and it basically looks the same, except he has the logo on his torso as well as a long stick, which is supposed to be bamboo. Ending off the CMF, I got Long John Silver. Oops, wrong one. We got Long John Silver having a brand new beard piece, as well as the peg leg being the direct opposite, and was even printing on the peg leg, as well as having a Lego parrot in green. And that is all 20 minifigures in the fast food mascot CMF. I love the way these all turned out, and most of them were difficult, but I pulled it off well. And here's the characters all together in this one image, and I also made a custom background for them. 
So, what do you guys think? Do you guys like this? Do you want a sequel? Post your comments in the area below. I'll see you guys next time in the next scene. Alright guys, bye!